so in today's video we will be looking about photo eyes and motors in detail so we have already prepared a video for conveyor mass flow conveyor decision points and station property understanding so if you haven't watched those videos till now please watch those videos and then you will be able to understand photo eyes and motors in detail so today in this video we are going to understand details related to photo eyes and motors so stay tuned on the video and watch the video till end so without wasting the time let's begin on the modeling this is how the model will be looking like once we have completed all the modeling steps hey guys welcome to the channel if 4.0 this is ajay so the photo eyes basically are nothing but the sensors which are been put onto the conveyor so initially what we'll do is we'll drag one of the conveyor and then we'll drag another conveyor so that we can have our base modeling already prepared so i will connect these two conveyors i will make a, a connection from the source to this conveyor and then from this out conveyor to the queue i will change the arrival for the source to 2 seconds every 2 seconds and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag the photo eye onto these two conveyors now so this is the photo eyes i have dragged so the photo eyes are nothing but the sensors which are actually used on the manufacturing lines these sensors do trigger the blockage onto the line and uh, they identify whether anything is uh, so any logic can be triggered from this area of photo eye so photo eye nothing but the sensor so we have a bulb at end and we have another end with the receiver so we have a continuous beam of light passing from one end to another so whenever a part is going to come in between this beam it is going to either block or either it is going to cover the area so whenever this receiver is not going to get a light beam it is going to trigger certain logic which you have already inbuilt into it so we are having additional features for the photo eye into the triggers that are on cover on block on uncover on clear which we did not have for the decision point so when we are looking into the properties window for the photo eye we are having x y z we are having height which we can put so this is nothing but the height of the photo beam above the conveyor plane then we have the distance along the conveyor then we are going to have this timing after which the photo eye will go into block state then we can also enter the timing after which the photo eye can be considered as a cleared state or the blockage is cleared so those timings you can put here we are having the offset angle so offset angle is nothing but the angle so currently we are having it at zero angle so this is a horizontal line so it's zero when the offset angle is changed to 45 the beam will go as per my mouse is moving so this is the 45 angle beam we will be having if you require that we can change that photo i beam at an offset angle that is based on your requirement how you need to use then we have require gap to clear you can check it and check it depending on the requirement then we can change the color for the photo i then we have groups similar to the photo i uh, decision point we had so you can also add the groups then we have ports input output and the center ports for the photo eyes you can put it and then we are going to have the triggers you have seen so we have from on cover on block on uncover clear and the list goes on for the photo eyes so photo eyes do act as the sensors and the motor we are going to drag it now so the motors do act as actuators so the function for the motors is to sync the power and free dock positions as well as it can stop the conveyors resume the conveyors and basically this can be used as the actuators in the system and photo eyes are going to be used as the sensors into the system so we'll understand the properties for the motors now so motors we are having same as we had for another statistics visuals labels we are having this additional property for the motor definitely so this is basically to synchronize the power and free dock positions default it is always unchecked if you want you can check this both adjust your dog gaps for continuous looping so basically it will evenly space your parts onto the conveyor so these things you can do with the help of the motor default thing we are going to keep it so we are going to uncheck these things 
For the ports, if you look at, we are going to have similar properties, input, center, and output ports. And then we are going to have the small list of triggers dedicated to the conveyor, uh, dedicated to the motors. That is on draw, on pre draw, on reset message, stop, resume, and on state change. So what we are going to do now, we are going to change this color for the objects on cover from the photo eye. So we are going to change the visuals that is we are going to set the object color to green when it is going to pass this first photo eye and it is going to get changed to orange when it is going to get covered by the next photo eye. So we are going to set the object to orange and now if we reset and run I will make this somewhat faster and it is going to get changed to green and then from green to orange. You can see the parts getting triggered by the photo eye logic. So this is what we are able to create into the modeling by using the photo eye. Now what we are going to do is we are going to stop the behind conveyor whenever this photo eye is going to get triggered the behind conveyor should stop via motor. That logic we are going to include now but before that you could notice this the photo eye color is going to get changed to red from green. So green means idle state for the photo eye and whenever it is going to get covered by the box it is going to get converted to red that means blocked state. So you can see how the sensor or photo eyes works so you can put the triggers as per your requirement then. So now what we are going to do is we are going to create that logic that the conveyor should stop whenever this photo eye that is P1 goes into blocked state or it goes on cover. So basically uh, this cover is used in correspondence with uncover and this on block is going to be used in correspondence with on clear. So now what we are going to do is we are going to add one more additional point on cover we are going to add additional trigger that is we are going to stop the motor. So we are going to make a center port connection from this motor to this photo eye and then this uh, motor to the conveyor. So now what we are going to tell this photo eye is you need to stop this motor. So we are going to take a picker current dot center object 1 is going to get stopped as stop motor and then on clear or on uncover so basically there is a correspondence that's the reason we are going to use on uncover. What we are going to do is we are going to resume the motor and the motor is this one current dot center object 1. So when I reset and run and we'll see we haven't yet told the motor to stop the conveyor but the motor is getting stopped. So if you see the motor gets stopped by getting triggered from this photo eye. So this boundary which you see across the motor is the signal for stop. So this is stopped, resumed. This is stopped, resumed. Now what we are going to do is we are going to stop the conveyor via the motor. So when we'll do is for this motor on stop we are going to set up a trigger and on resume we are going to set up a trigger. So what we are going to tell to the motor is that we go into the code snippet and what we will tell when you are going to stop do stop this current dot center object. So I'll put this as stopped and I'll put a state as state as say breakdown and I'll close the loop I'll make it okay. So this my code is okay for on stop and on resume what I'm going to put is I'm going to click on this conveyor I'm going to put resume. Do remember to put this curly brackets if you don't put it you will be able to see the error in the system console. So I'm going to reset this now. So we have completed the coding for the motor and also for the photo eye. So now what is going to happen is on cover of the photo eye it is going to stop the motor and it is ultimately going to stop the conveyor and on uncover it is going to resume the motor and on resume we are going to resume this conveyor. So we'll run the uh, model simulation model for this and we can check. So whenever now this photo eye is going to get blocked you can see this conveyor get stopped. Unblock the part stops on this conveyor and on resume the part starts to move again backwards. So this is how the model looks. 
so thank you thank you for watching this uh, video till end so we have completed understanding the properties for the photo eye and properties for the motor we have also learned applying code into the code snippet and triggers the conveyors accordingly so this is how the model will be looking like at the end of the triggers and the applications of the photo eyes and the motors do add your comments into the comment sections your suggestions are highly welcomed do share and subscribe the channel we have targeted to have 2000 subscribers till february 2023 your support and subscriptions are highly required and i would recommend you to please share and subscribe the channel so that we can grow evenly and spread awareness Thank you. We will meet into the another grand video for merge controllers and rack warehousing. So till then, take care, keep learning, keep simulating.